Wouldn't it be great if you could start playing a game on one computer, save it, and then pick up right where you left off on another one of your computers? Steam does have a feature like this built in, it's called Steam Cloud, but it doesn't support every game on Steam. And even games that it does claim to support, doesn't always work, as you can see right here. So what's the solution? Just sync those game save files with Dropbox. It's really easy to set up, and it's much more reliable than Steam Cloud can be. The first step is to find out where your games are storing those save files. It's a little different for every game, but chances are, it's probably in your documents folder. You'll see my documents folder has a ton of folders for different games. I've got one for Battlefield 3 here, Mass Effect, and so on. Uh, they could be in other locations, but this is where most games store their files. This My Games folder has a few in it too. So, there we go. We found our files. The next step is to copy those game files to Dropbox. So, let's say I wanted to sync my Darksiders save files to another computer. I'm going to copy this folder, create a new folder in Dropbox for all of my game saves, just so I don't clutter things up in here and then paste the Darksiders save file in there. You'll see that it starts to sync with Dropbox, so we can move on to the next step, which is creating what's called a symbolic link, or sim link, to the new folder. Because when I start up Darksiders, it's going to look for its save files in the normal location, not in my Dropbox, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this folder just to keep it backed up for the time being. And we're going to open a command prompt as an administrator to create our symbolic link. In the command prompt window, you're going to want to type this command, make link slash d, and then a path to your two folders. You can uh, actually copy this command from the post on Lifehacker below. You don't need to try and follow along with the video. Once you've filled out the entire command, just press enter, and it should create your symbolic link for you. Double check by going back to the original save folder, in my case, my documents, my games, and you'll see that that Darksiders folder is here, but it has a little shortcut icon. Now, when Steam goes to look for my Darksiders saves, it's going to look in the original location, but it's going to get pointed to Dropbox, where all of my synced save files are. We can now delete this old Darksiders 1 folder. You're going to have to do this not only on your original computer, but on any other computers on which you've installed Steam. So, now that it's all set up, the last step is to actually test it out. Start up a game, save a game somewhere, and try it on your other computer and see if it works. If it works, you're good to go. Good luck and have fun gaming.